Therefore, to understand Krishna, one requires special senses. Special senses, not ordinary senses. Special senses means you have to pluck your eyes and you have to put another eye. No, you have to purify. Tatparatena nirmalam. Just like if you have got some disease in the eyes, you apply medicine. And when it is clear, you can see clearly everything. Similarly, with these blunt senses we cannot understand what is Krishna. Sevan mukhi hi jivhado same vas puratada. As Sri Krishna's namado, Krishna's name, form, quality, etc., is not understood by these blunt senses. So, how it is to be done? Sevan mukhi hi jivhado. Again, jivhāgu, beginning from the tongue, uh, controlling the tongue. Uh, just see, it is uh, something peculiar that you have to understand Krishna by controlling the tongue. Uh, this is something wonderful. How is that? I have to control my tongue to understand Krishna. Uh, but it is the Shastra injunction is there. Sivana mukhi hi jivhāgu. Jivhā means tongue. So, <clears throat> in order to see Krishna, in order to understand Krishna, the first business is to control your tongue. Therefore, we say, don't take meat, uh, don't take liquor, uh, because it is controlling the tongue. The tongue is the uh, most uh, strong enemy as sense, as perverted sense. Uh, and these rascals, they say, no, you can eat whatever you like, it has nothing to do with religion. Uh, but Vedic Shastra says, you rascal, first of all control your tongue, then you can understand what is God. Uh, so this is called Vedic injunction. Perfect. If you control your tongue, then you control your belly, then you control your <coughs> genital. Rupa Goswami gives instruction, bāca bīgam, krūda bīgam, mudara upastha bīgam, manaso bīgam, ītāna bīgāna javisvaita dhīra, ca prisirīṁ ca sishyāt. This is an instruction that anyone who has become competent to control the tongue, to control the mind, to control the anger, to control the belly and control the genital. If six kind of control is there, he is fit for becoming spiritual master. He can make disciples all over the world. And if you cannot control your tongue, if you control your anger, control your mental concoction, then how you can become uh, even spiritual master? That is not possible. Prithivinsa sishya, one of these, that is called Goswami. Goswami or Shami. Master of the senses, master of controlling these six kinds. So beginning is the jiva. Sevanam kehi jiva do samayva spurata do. Seva. The tongue can be engaged in the service of the Lord. How? Yeah, you chant Hare Krishna, always glorify, Bachangsi Vaikuntha Gunanu Varnani. Bachangsi means talking. Talking is the business of tongue, and tasting is the business of tongue. So you engage the tongue in the service of the Lord by glorifying. Whenever you take a vow, that whenever I shall speak, I shall simply speak glorifying Krishna, nothing more. That is tongue control. If you don't allow your tongue to speak anything nonsense, grammo katha, we sometimes sit together, we talk so many nonsense. 
Uh, that should be controlled. Now I have engaged my tongue for the service of the Lord, so we shall not talk anything of sense gratification. This is controlling the tongue. I cannot eat anything which is not offered to Krishna. This is controlling the tongue. So these are small techniques, but it has got great, great value, so that Krishna will be pleased, the austerity, and he will reveal. You cannot understand, you cannot see Krishna, you cannot order Krishna. Uh, Krishna, please come dancing with float, I shall see you. This is order. Uh, Krishna is not uh, subjected to your order. Uh, therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gives us an instruction. Aslisya bhāpādaratāṁ pinastumāṁ maramāhatāṁ karotubhā adarsanā. Adarsanā. Everyone wants to see Krishna devotee. But a pure devotee says that, no, if you don't like to see me, that's all right. You can break my heart. I may always pray to see you, but you do not come and break my heart. That is also accepted. Still I shall worship you. This is pure devotion. Not that I have asked Krishna to come before me dancing. He did not come. Why? You have this not. The Krishna consciousness movement is no value. Not like that. <coughs> this is Radharani's attitude. So Krishna left Vrindavan. All the gopis, they passed that day simply crying for Krishna but never condemned Krishna. Uh, whenever somebody came, Krishna also was thinking of them, because gopis are the greatest devotees, topmost devotees. There is no comparison with the devotion of the gopis. Uh, therefore Krishna was always obliged to them. Uh, Krishna said to the gopis, that you have to be satisfied with your own business. I cannot return you anything for your love. Krishna, the Supreme, the All-Powerful, He was unable to repay the debts uh, for the gopis. So gopis, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Ramma kāci dupāsana brajabadhu varga bhīja kalpita. There is no more bitter worship than what was conceived by the gopis. So gopis are the topmost devotees. And amongst the gopis, Srimati Radharani is the topmost. Therefore, Srimati Radharani is greater than Krishna. So this is Gauriya Vaishnava philosophy. It requires time. So the activities of Krishna, the rascal, if they simply see, where Krishna is uh, enticing Arjuna to fight, therefore Krishna is immoral. Uh, that is, means wrong vision. You have to see Krishna uh, with separate eyes. Uh, therefore Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Janma karma me dibbaucha. Don't dibba. These transcendental activities of Krishna, if anyone can understand, Simply, if anyone can understand, uh, then he becomes liberated immediately. Liberated. Not liberated ordinarily liberation, but uh, 